Hello and welcome to InLive Media. In this short video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the dashboard. So we've got a couple of sites here. So we're just going to basically, once the site is live, we will send you your login details. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you around the dashboard here. So you can see here we've got sections of the site and we've included some videos, some motion graphics in here as well. So there's a lot you can do. So for starters, you just click on the Pages tab, and these are your pages on the side here. Now this site in particular is a one page, so we've created different anchors for different points, and then you have widgets. So this is fantastic because it is very easy to update your own site. So let's say we want to add an image, you just basically drag and drop the image there, and then you can upload your image from your computer. So we can just click here, upload, and let's just upload this picture here. And it will quickly upload depending on your internet speed. And there it is there. And then you've got design elements where you can make the image smaller. You've got spacing and you can move it from left to right as well. So we've added that there. So in the widgets, we've got lots of different features. So you can add text here. You can add, we'll just go back there. So you can add text. If you want to add that above the image there and just like any editing platform. So you can just basically write whatever you like in there. So I'm just going to light media, select that there. You can make the text nice and large and center that as well. Okay, so, so let's have a look at all the different features. So you've got text, you can grab an image, you can add a click to call. So you can see here up above, you've got different views as well. So you've got your tablet mode and your mobile version as well. So if you wanted to add another click to call button, you can just add that there and there's your call us button. You can change the colors as well. So let's change that to a darker color. And within the content, then you can add the phone number there as well. Okay, so let's go back to desktop mode and we'll go back to the widgets and we'll explore the many different widgets that we have. So if you'd like to add an image slider that we've added here as well, you can just drag that there. So it creates a new row and you can, you've got all the text so you can change anything and everything. So let's just delete those ones and we'll add some more image sliders. So if we go add there, we'll just add what we've already added in here. So we'll just select those there, done. And then we've got the images there. So on the side here, you can see some information. You can just click off that and you can hide the button there as well. So you've got lots you can do. You can change lots of different formats as well. The dashboard you can update on any computer with an internet connection. So you can be anywhere in the world. So let's delete that there and we'll go back to the widgets. So the site will be all made for you. So if you wanted to add an image gallery, you can grab that here. And of course, once we design everything for you, then you can basically add and remove any images that you like and quickly upload new pictures as well. So we'll just go in here and select a few. And You've got your design element. Again, this will be all done for you. So you can just basically click on these things and just remove different images and add images as well. So we'll continue. So you can create many buttons. You've got also, you can create a drop in HTML code as well. If you're a little bit more advanced, you've got media. So you can add video as well. So there you can add your video and you just pop in your YouTube address there. So we'll grab a video now, YouTube address, and you can see the video there and you can make that nice and big as well. Now, another great feature, if you wanted to add video as a background, 
you can basically drag this down here, click here, edit design, and you can actually make that any video you like from YouTube, your actual background. So you can see here, that'll just basically play in the background for you. And then you can add different things as well. So you might like to add another image over the top of that. And let's just place this one here. And you can see you've got a nice background there for your video and image. So we'll go back to the widgets. Well, before we do that, we'll just delete this row, or we can even undo. So you've got the undo and redo section as well, which is nice and handy. So we'll just un keep undoing that. Okay, all right. Now you'll see as well, you have got a, a backup setting. So if we go settings here, we can go to our last published and just click restore. So if you've really blundered, you can restore back to a setting where you last published. So you can see that's everything's back to the way it was. So we'll go back to the widgets now. Now, each section is in, uh, each row is in sections. So you can add different columns. You can, if you want to grab another one here, you've got two sections there and you can just drag that down. So again, your site will be built for you. So you'll really be just going in and just editing things that you want. Now, if you wanted to add a PayPal button, you certainly can as well. So we can see here, we've got a PayPal button and we can drag that there. And basically you put in your PayPal email, the price, 10% tax. So you put in your email address and then you can space that to the middle. So this is very handy if you're going out on the road and you can basically create your own mobile payment facility where you can hand your phone straight over. And of course you just basically just grab the text and grab the in, write the details there of what your product is. So we'll just say widget and we'll make that $100. And again, just pop that in the middle there. And we can put that spacing. There we go, nice and centered. So now if you click publish here, republish, then you can take that out on the road and basically hand your phone to your client and they can make the payment and it'll go straight into your PayPal account. So there's lots of things you can do. It's very user friendly. You can also drag audios. This has also got a feature where you can create your own online shop as well. Um, it incorporates scheduling, coupons, maps, or your social media as well. So it's very user friendly. You can also personalize and add different sections to appear as a pop-up as a seasonal, um, let's say Halloween coming up, it can pop up there. You can program it to have a Halloween special and finish after Halloween as well. So you can also incorporate blogs. So there really is nothing that you cannot do. And if we've built you say a three page website, you can easily create a new page as well, just by clicking new page. So really it, it is limitless what you can do. Uh, unlike WordPress, which is very difficult for clients or anyone to update their own website, our platform is super user friendly. So thank you for watching this video. And again, we'll just restore back it's also got a built-in SEO setting as well. So you can see here we've added keywords and your it's, it's all basically there. It's a, it'll all incorporate everything for you. It's even got Google Analytics as well. So we'll just back up the site, back to the last restore point, click yes. And then let's say we want to make a change. We can just quickly click back and we'll just wait for that to load. And let's say we've done a change and we just click republish and it's done. And you've just added some new photos or some new prices. So it's very user-friendly. Thank you for watching.